Do. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are we ready to go? How's my makeup? <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, there are very few reasons to get up at an 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. But you know what? We're here at one of them. The Hollywood Farmer's Market. Low impact farming. We're hydroponic. Hydroponic. Now, the only time I heard hydroponic was regarding uh, when you grow pot. Isn't that also hydroponic? That's probably the most popular. Now, do you have any pot here today? No, we just sell the legal herbs here at the market. <laughs> just the legal herbs. Welcome back to Discovery Kids Safari Adventure. What we're going to do? We're gonna show you a close-up of an animal, give you some clues, and you better guess which animal it is. You ready? Here it is. Okay, these guys can eat 100 pounds of leaves a day. They only have to drink water once a week. Their legs are six feet long. What do you think it is? Giraffe? All right, you kids are paying attention. In that case, let's go back to Jack Hanna, because you know what he's talking about today? Monkeys. Oh, 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 oh. Rose is very shy. I don't Rose. think you can see Rose. Uh, don't instigate Rose, <laughs> right? We've just got her to calm down. She's a little hyperactive. Hi, I'm Wendell, Metro TV's hostess with the mostess. And I'm here celebrating with thousands of people at the New York City 2003 Gay Pride March. <laughs> now, how long have you been out? Uh, oh, that was a shocking question to say, I'm not. Is this all natural? All natural. Oh my god, I hate you. Is this, this, is all oh, this is all natural, with the help of little Debbie. Happy Gay Pride! I'm so happy to be here. I've been here 15 straight years. You think they'll become a year where you'll show up in drag? No. Okay, we're here with Sandra, and we're going to find out about everything regarding eggs, because I'm fascinated with eggs. How many chickens do you think are on this farm, do you know? Like. Three or four hundred. I'm not sure about it. Three or four hundred chickens? And where is this farm? Um, let me check. <laughs> Sandra was a very suspicious person. I don't know. What was the best part of growing up on a farm? We get to eat all of this fresh produce that you see here in front of us. I think that was a little fake and you're trying to sell the produce, Chris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not exactly disco, but you know what? It's got a beat and I think I could dance to it. Fashion can be a bitch. Just ask Amy Sedaris, because this week she's going to be judging the Pause for a Cure fashion puppy shop. What's your favorite part of the farmer's market so far today? Well, just in general, I really like the community feeling of it, because, I mean, we live in a very disconnected place, and it's nice that everybody's able to get together on every Sunday just to do this. You caught me off guard there. You just like to dress and be sassy and work the farmer's market, right? Um, okay. <laughs> okay, you hear the name Barbie, what do you think of? Blonde hair, blue eyes, the perfect nose. Let me tell you something, she wasn't always that purdy. Check out these early prototypes. <laughs> these could be the uh, Nicole Kidman twins and Angelina Jolie. You know who my favorite plastic doll has always been and will always be? John Rivers. We laughed, we cried, we had a gay old time. And until next year, I'm Wendell with Metro TV wishing everybody a happy Gay Pride Day. Ooh, is that Liza Minnelli?